Hi everyone, Dave here in the Aquarium Gardens showroom. Uh, this is an update video, so I'm going to be talking about uh, what's new here in the showroom, uh, new scapes, um, and also the Aquascaper 1500 that is now empty. Uh, we will be rescaping this tomorrow. Uh, myself and the guys, the team here, uh, we're going to be escaping this together tomorrow. So really excited about that. I'll run through that with you in more detail in a second. And also an overall update on the entire uh, showroom. It's got a lot of new scapes in here. So I'll run through that with you as well. And then at the end, uh, I'm going to run around the store with you uh, and have a quick shop tour to see what's uh, what's new in the shop and show you the plants and hardscape and things. So we'll start with the Aquascaper 1500 first of all and our plans for this. So previously this was um, this was uh, George Farmerscape, the tree trunk style triangular uh, composition that George did for us about 14 months ago now. Um, the Aquascape could have gone on a lot longer and it was, it was sad to see it go. But um, yeah, we like keep, keeping things fresh in here and we really want to scape this tank as a team. Uh, the five of us here are gonna be scaping this tomorrow. Um, I'm personally really excited to be working with everyone that's, uh, that works at Aquarium Gardens to make this one a team effort. Um, so it's the biggest tank in the store. This will be the fourth scape that this tank has ever seen in its, in its existence uh, since the store opened. Um, I just can't wait to get started on it really. Our plans for it is basically, uh, I want, personally I would like a, a classic, the, this, this tank to be the most classic layout and design in the store. So when I say classic, I'm basically taking uh, inspiration from ADA and Amano uh, past work and, uh, and using that from, for our main inspiration for this aquarium. It's a classic nature style and um, and I've got, we've got an idea in our heads about the composition of things, uh, where we want the negative straight space to be. We've got a few ideas for planting and, uh, and what type of hardscape we're using. And then tomorrow on the day, we'll just let everything flow and, uh, and it'll come together, I think, relatively uh, quickly. If we've got the, uh, a plan and a rough idea in our, our heads uh, beforehand and it'll, uh, we've got an abundance of materials here. Um, high quality uh, woods and rocks and plenty to choose from so that makes the whole process a lot easier and um, and we will be filming this the whole process as well so for the Aquarium Gardens YouTube channel you will see um, a full step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial um, basically we'll film the whole thing and I'll edit it and slice it and dice it up into a sort of 20 25 minute uh, tutorial video so you'll be able to see the process of the whole thing uh, being created um, so there's a few uh, tutorials on our uh, on our YouTube channel already, uh, so you'll see the style of those, and we'll be we'll be doing that this one in a in a similar style. So a uh, few changes to the the setup here. We've changed the lighting from the Life Aqua Master Pros, which we've run on this tank for the past three three and a half years, I think, on the previous two scapes. Um, this time we've gone for the ADA Solar RGB, which is my personal favourite lighting we've got one on this aquascaper 900 here and you can just see the the how amazing this light is and the color rendition it's just absolutely superb uh, this tank needs a bit of a trim but you can get a feel for how green um, and how good the color rendition is of this light we'll get up a bit closer as well it's just stunning um, it looks great as well the actual unit it's very lightweight, very sleek, very high-end. Um, there it is from underneath. So yeah, two of those this time on the Aquascaper 1500, uh, along with a uh, light ground light screen on the back, uh, which we've never had on this tank before. We've always just relied on light light spill on light spill uh, onto the white wall behind. But the yeah the Aqua screen works much better at illuminating. Uh, with a bright white background, so really, really adds depth. Really, it's that final touch to the the aquascape. Um, show you in other displays. There's a couple here with uh, with light grounds on. Uh, one with an ADA light screen. One with a light ground on. Really, just adds that final finish to the aquascape. And um, yeah, I love them. I love them. So apart from that, the setup is running pretty much the same as it was before. 
Um, we might also be up changing the filtration to Eheim as well. Um, I'm undecided on that yet, but I think that's what we're going to do. And yeah, as I say, make sure you keep an eye out on the, our YouTube channel for uh, the setup video. I'm aiming for about the 1st of December to get it edited and put on the YouTube channel when I find some time to do it. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled. In terms of the rest of the showroom, if I just let's take a step back here, here are all the scapes pretty much in view there. And the first new Aquascape that we've got is this uh, Awaze Scaper Line 60 that I Aquascaped over a month ago now. It's, uh, it's uh, Awaze Scaper Line 60, 60 centimetres long by 35 tall and 35 front to back. A great dimension, quite similar to the ADA 60P, except that it's a bit wider front to back, which I like. You've got the extra five centimetres. I know it doesn't sound much, but actually that gives you an extra bit of wiggle room and. Uh, and footprint to play with with your aquascape so uh, yeah great tank with a nice uh, cabinets uh, the lighting is a twin star e uh, light uh, twin star is our kind of all-time favorite lighting um, yeah a proven performer and a light screen on the back as well big fan of those I've already, I've already said not ma not many tanks in here without light screens anymore and the actual aquascape itself is a, an island composition so we've got all the planting and heights from the uh, hardscape in the middle there and you can see some open space on both sides and around the fronts so this is making it into a an island uh, composition or a convex is also known as as well convex composition so this tank just had a water change so the drop check is blue at the moment it's normally nice bright green in terms of the planting we've got a hygrophila pinnata feeder which is kind of the main feature plant in this scape um, and I've used it in a way where I would normally use ferns um, so I've used Hygophila Pinnata Feeder instead it's a lovely orange colour and hopefully we'll get some pinks out of it as well as time goes on and the plant matures got a lot of greenery around the front here from Busa Philandra, Mosses, Anubias uh, a little bit of Monte Carlo here and there some Ricardia Camadry Folia dotted around as well my favourite moss it's a beautiful moss if I get up close there yeah, love that. Uh, some Star Granny repins on the side there. Lovely little compact, bushy plant. Planted into the uh, aquarium soil there. And that's basically it. Um, this is our monkey, Abe. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's part of the team now, just hanging out there. And uh, yeah, he'll be watching you at the till. <laughs> So yeah, make sure you say hello to Abe if you're in. And then moving round, uh, another new scape, <coughs> little uh, ac um, 45 shallow aquascape, uh, an ADA 45F. This was created by um, Ryan, our friend who visited us from uh, the US in California, he came with a, another customer of ours, um, a regular customer of ours and he came and scaped this kind of um, just spontaneous, really. Um, had some time and uh, he's known as RY the Scape Guy uh, on Instagram. So if you want to see his work, uh, he's a fantastic scaper. Got some really nice shallow tanks on there. So I said, why not do a, a shallow uh, scape here? And he did an absolutely great job. Um, just waiting for some of the immersed growth to really take hold here. We've got various plants coming out the top. Uh, Picostum and Erectus here. Which grows really well out of the out of the water. Got some Ludwigia mini super red, which is making its way upwards. Various grasses which haven't taken that well yet, but I'm sure they'll pull through eventually. And the scape itself, we've got some rocks down here in kind of a concavey kind of layout there, and some plants, just some grasses and things dotted in the sand at the front here. This is Hydrocotyl tripetita, this little viney looking plant down there. And this is called the um, Aquario Tiny Diffuser. Lovely little uh, U-bend over the top there, perfect for a little tank like that. And we're running uh, the miniature mini skimmer on there, glass skimmer. And it's powered by the ONF flat nano lighting. Really good little nano light for small tanks like that. Moving around here, we've got the Aquascaper 1200, which I scaped back in February now. 
Uh, this is powered by the ONF flats, called the flat one, a 90 pendant. So this is, um, this, is, this is heavily featuring lilies in the background and moss on the wood. These are the main two plants in here. You can get a nice view of the lilies from the top there. It's a really nice uh, view in this tank from up above, actually. That's, uh, that's obviously one of the, the great things about an open top tank is you get this fantastic view standing up, which you wouldn't otherwise get with a lidded tank. Um, there's no, dis no distractions from any trims or plastic metal lids or anything, just minimising the tank as much as we can itself so we can really focus in and make the aquascape and what's inside the tank stand out more. And yeah, we've got a uh, ADA Colorado sand along the front, kind of a nice beachy feel. So yeah, that one's settled in really well. Uh, pretty pleased with that one so far. Moving on around here, we've got the Aquascaper 600. This is only a few weeks old, I'd say about six weeks old or so now. Um, thinking about getting a bit more greenery in this one because the Blixer Japonica, which is on both sides, this grassy one here is quite yellow, a bit too yellow for me. Um, and there's obviously a big focal red point in the middle there from the uh, Nymphia Lotus, incredibly red. I think the reason why it's so colourful is because it's really close to that twin star light and just bringing out the the, the best colours. And believe it or not, that's the same lily as as the one that's in here. Uh, the difference is, is the light. This, these lilies are much further away from the light. These lilies are much closer. So the intensity of this lighting is far, far greater and, and just bringing out the colours much better. But yeah, I, just think, I think overall this one's probably lacking a bit of greenery overall. The moss isn't looking too green either. So we might change that and might change some of the plants in the back just to get the balance right on the colours, I feel. But other than that, I mean, it's looking great. The plants are flourishing. Got the ferns and the nubius in there. Cryptocorony balanza at the back. That's quite a dark plant as well. So it's gone brownie orange colour so yeah we'll make some changes to that and but it's looking other than that it's looking really really nice uh, onto this aquascaper 900 you might all be aware familiar with this tank but uh, pavel kulanda our friend from northern ireland um yeah really good aquascaper contest level aquascaper came over for a workshop back in may and did an absolutely fantastic job on this tank um, really high level stuff. My favourite, personal favourite in the showroom at the moment. Uh, using dragonwood in this kind of V shape, coming at you, sort of pointing at you, so you get a real, it's a real dramatic effect actually. And the beautiful colours and compact uh, plant growth all over really. Stems in the back from Rotalos, the little wig ear to Mirio Filum. And on the wood, we've got compact carpeting plants like attached to the wood. So Hemianthus calotricoides and Monte Carlo drooping down, looks so nice. Various epiphytes, some Busa philandra, which are coloured up beautifully. Classic trident fern, this is about as good as it'll ever look. Just a beautiful fern. Carpeting plant at the front here, falling onto the white sand. Heliocaris sicularis mini. Just a beautiful arrangement of plants and a very strong hardscape. And finished off with these fantastic little fish. These are called sedge tetras or lackeys. And they've got this really lovely um, fin. And they're just lovely, delicate little things, very quite subtle, not taking away from the scape or anything, because the colours and everything are quite bold in here. So we deliberately chose. Um, you know, a subtle silver coloured fish that's not going to distract or take away from the, the plants themselves, just to give a little bit of movement. So yeah, I love those little fish, really, really great. Great in big numbers as well. We've got about 20 or 25 or so in this tank. Uh, the lighting I haven't talked about. These are a firm favourite of ours now. These are the Life Aqua Prime Pros. This is the Prime Pro 900 EX. About the closest colour rendition you'll get to an ADA Solar RGB, I would say, probably in its nearest competitor in terms of colour rendition. And yeah, I mean, the, the light speaks for itself with these, these plants, really. Um, incredibly good value, really good build, heavy quality light. Um, yeah, I couldn't recommend these enough. 
Uh, not the cheapest, they are, it's 500 pounds for the, um, for the 900 Prime Pro EX. Um, but actually really good value for the quality, the level of lighting you're getting. Um, and there's 1500 again, all ready to go for tomorrow. This is the oldest layout in the store, another Aquascaper 900, powered by the Solar RGB from ADA. Many of you, if you've been in the shop, will have already seen this tank and it's changed over the years so much. But it's nice to have a, at least one term, uh, one long term layout in the store. Uh, the Hemianthus Microanthemoides dominates all over this tank at the background and at the front. This tank has a, a concave composition. So when we say concave, we mean an opening in the middle, basically. It's also known as a U shape sometimes. So this tank needs a bit of a trim so we can open up that area in the middle again. And uh, yeah, fish wise, just notice the fish. Uh, classic um, Harlequin Rasbora. So a really popular fish. There's about 25 or so of them in here. And they're really quite happy in here. They're not phased at all. They, all work, they just hang around in the middle here. Um, so they're, yeah, they're good. They, they color up really well under this light as well. Really, really well. I mean, they're happy in a in this kind of environment where there's lots of plants, lots of oxygen, um, good water quality from the plants. The plants are basically looking after the fish, and that's that's almost our approach approach to fish keeping. Really, is look after the plants, and the fish will be really happy, and their colours and behaviour will be will be even better. So um, yeah, great a great approach to fish keeping if you're if you've not not kept plants before. Um, the benefits are, are huge and um, it goes without saying for this tank as well, these, these are green neons in here. This is a, an aquascape uh, made for us by Thai Streetman and uh, yeah, this is very, very plant heavy um, and the green neons are very, very happy for it. Kind of hang around in the central area here. But yeah, the tank is just so, so mature and healthy and clean from as a result of the plant growth. Um, we've got, I'll run through the plants quickly. We've got uh, Sagittaria, a mix of Sagittaria and Helia, Helenthium tenellum at the front here. And then at the back, we've got a mix of Cryptochrony balanzi, which is the brownie orangey tall plant and some Aponegeton here, this sort of greeny long one. And then on the wood, we've got various mosses, Ficillans and Ricardia. Uh, oh, and the lilies in the middle as well. There's a few lilies going up to the surface there. And yeah, this plant density is really, really basically stable and, and uh, sustaining for the tank and makes it very easy to look after as well. Very, very easy. In terms of algae, a very, very low algae. It, you'd be lucky to see any algae in this tank, uh, to be honest. And it just makes everything so much easier for maintenance for the fish. You can't beat a heavily planted tank. And this is kind of in a more jungle style, um, more jungle so than aquascaped, I would say. It's more chaotic and wild. Um, people are really loving this at the moment, this tank. Um, this uh, tank is powered by a Twin Star 900S. This is our, uh, the S is the, uh, the top, top range they have the strongest light the most colorful you can see all the different colors of the uh, leds in the top there and uh yeah really really big fan of twin star lights always have been they've always been a firm favorites and uh, proven performer so another empty tank here uh, this is going to be escaped by uh, a staff member here stephen uh, many of you would have met stephen in the shop and spoke to him on the phone as well if you're a customer here uh, so yes, yeah, Steve will be scaping this very, very soon, probably in the next week or two. Got some ideas for that, so looking forward to see what, seeing what he does. <clears throat> and in the 60p next to it, we've got this uh, another layout here by Tom, who works here as well. This has been running about a month or so, um, and this is Tom's favourite style, I would say, favourite layout. He's got a tank at home in a similar, escaped in a similar way with this beautiful manzanita wood, very unique, beautiful wood, twisty, um, quite skinny, long branches. 
and Tom scaped it in a, a really nice uh, triangular composition here with the rotalas at the back coming down this side on the lower side uh, all around with some glossostigma elatinoides and it's quite bushy at the moment I would say but we're going to give it a good trim I think Tom's going to trim it next week and cut it right back quite harshly and what we want is a really compact mat by the end of it so hopefully over time that will get more and more compact and lower down but yeah love the plant choices in this one really love it the uh, rotile hr at the back and orange juice um, they will color up as well over time so we should start to get more red in the background there and the beautiful favorites amongst customers the ember tetras if you're looking for your first fish for an aquascape you can't go wrong with ember tetras beautiful little fish nano fish for aquascaping uh, the other light on this tank is the uh, so, uh, ADA Aquasky RGB, which is the Solar RGB's lit little brother, just made for a smaller tank, per well, for 60p specifically. And again, you get that classic ADA green, nice colour rendition. Uh, onto the 45p here. Uh, this was scaped recently as well, about six weeks ago by myself. Um, this is what we call either Iwagumi or Diorama style. Iwagumi means rock only, basically. <clears throat> and Diorama is basically uh, a style where you're trying to mimic a much larger uh, scene, natural scenes. It could be mountains, it could be trees, uh, it could be a forest. Uh, and we're trying to mimic that on a much smaller scale inside an aquarium, we call it Diorama. So yeah, you can get that feel from here, the sort of mountainy feel with the plants around it <clears throat> and plant wise we've got a mixture of uh, carpeting plants we've got uh, Marsalea hirsuta at the front here quite a round leafed little carpeting plant and as we go back we're going into smaller textures we've got the Hemianthus calatricoides, some Ricardia moss the darker green moss there some Eleocharis sicularis mini at the back and Rotala green which has just been trimmed yesterday at the back there and that can just be shaped any way that you want basically so yeah just a really green carpeted rock layout nice little iragumi so that is all of the scapes basically in the in the showroom um nice we've cleared the space in the middle here for tomorrow we've got plenty of room to work with normally we have, we have benches uh, here for customers to sit on and uh, sit down and enjoy the tanks. So there we are. I'll move on, <coughs> move on around the shop. Uh, so from inside the sort of showroomy area, you can see the entire <coughs> entire range of goods we've got here. Just the shelves packed full of aquascaping gear. Uh, over here, we've got all of our fertilizers lotions and potions, some soils, uh, some more over here as well, ADA power sands, more soils, uh, ADA goods at the back here, um, twin star lighting, and then we've got the three fridges here packed full of tissue culture plants. We hold hundreds in stock all the time. Just a massive range, full range of tropical uh, tissue culture plants. We hold quite a lot of the, the main ones as well. So if you're wanting a, a bulk of plants, we've, uh, we've got plenty in stock all of the time. CO2 equipment, diffusers, drop checkers, uh, <coughs> accessories, um, some sands, a range of sands over here and gravels from Wio and Hugo Kamishi. Uh, an extra display tank where we're selling off here. So we've got a small amount of hardscape on the, the rear wall of the main shop here. Some wood, some giant stones, manzanita wood. And then through here is our plants and hardscape room. It's quite a big room. Some of the lights have gone off over there and on the submerged tank. It's quite a big room, um, full of hardscape. We've got these big bays here with tons and tons of rock, even more in front of me and these big wooden crates. A massive six foot uh, scaping 
deck there, dojo is it's also known. So we can measure out your tank here, you can help yourself to materials and build a layout here before you've even got home so you can have an idea of what you're gonna make uh, before you even leave the shop and, and then you know exactly what to get, how much it costs and it saves the guessing. And also you can get help and advice. We can build a layout entirely for you if you, if you wish, uh, take a picture of it and then recreate it at home. So really, really useful. Uh, feature here and many people come in the shop just for this to access the, the vast range of materials and things and to use escaping dojo so yeah we've got all the all the classics series stone dragon stone uh, frodo stone you name it we've got them all fossilized woods uh, i've got different woods redmore wood bog wood river wood massive pile of river wood in the in the center here it's our favourite wood, river wood, also known as horn wood. Uh, over here we've got the big plant base. This, this one's still got the light on, so we'll have a look at this one. So you can see the amount of plants that, uh, that we hold. It's one bay full of, uh, full of plants. We get three deliveries a week. And we've got five bays in total. Two more down here and another one on the left here. Just a massive range, Mechanodorus up the top there, Anubiuses, tons of Anubius, tons of Boosa Philandra, loads of ferns down there. Yeah, apologies that our lights are off at the moment. Yeah, just, just thousands of plants. So we, we, we sell a lot, quite a lot online as well. So we've always got a massive holding of plants. This is our submerged tank, holding basically ballast and uh, any truly aquatic plants that can't be kept immersed. So there we have it. If you're setting up a new scape, um, either want to buy a full system or thinking about rescaping and want to do a hard scape and need help with some, some inspiration for the new design and also help with plant choices, come on down. It's worth a, it's worth the journey, even if you're quite far away. We have people come from all over. Um, yeah, and we welcome you to come down, spend a few hours, as much time as you need here. Um, we've got. Plenty of staff on hand who are happy and willing to uh, to help out. That's the fun part, really. That's the uh, that's the best part of the job. So do not hesitate to ask if you need any help. All right. So back to the showroom, and uh, I'll leave it there for now. Got a big day tomorrow escaping this. So as I say, look out for the video uh, on our YouTube channel in about a month's time or so. So I'll post some uh, updates on Instagram and things and uh, as we go along so yeah I'll just zoom out and uh, and say bye bye for now hope to see you soon do pay us a visit or shop online of course you can order anything you want online as well just give us a call on the phone as well if you've got any questions about anything take care guys thank you very much for watching and uh, hope to see you soon bye for now